And what's amazing to watch when these guys are uh, standing here is to know how much horses were a part of human history. Um, when humans lived in small settlements, people rarely went more than five or ten miles from their homes. And once the horse became part of our lives, became domesticated, it changed history completely, sometimes for the good and sometimes not. Um, but horses became part of agriculture, and war, and travel, and also became part of our families and our companions. And now we usually think of horses as our companions in recreation. However, the Mongols still use their horses in their nomadic migrations every single year. So there's still parts of the world the horse is, you know, a valuable, very valuable part of society other than what Americans might think of. And yet when you come here you see the everyday stuff that they really are the most incredible, noble creatures ever. And I'm in the midst of making lunch buckets. Now, usually horses just have their hay twice a day, maybe three times. But we have a couple of horses here that are hard keepers. And a hard keeper is a horse that has a hard time keeping weight on. This is all in one with molasses. It's, it's a grain. We use beet pulp. We use rice bran. Um, it gives them all the nutrients they need. Helps keep on the weight or add weight if they lose it. Um, very common in the winter time for this to happen. But the horse we're feeding right now is Axel. And he's a former racehorse and he needs to keep his weight on. So what I'm also doing is I put a little extra um, all in one here because I'm also going to be giving medication to one of our horses and also a little handful to another horse so we don't have a, um, a conflict where someone thinks someone else is getting something they deserve because really it's like thousand pound toddlers around here. Okay what I'm taking here is um, Prevacox, it's an anti-inflammatory and I'm going to put it right on top here so I see it and when I feed the feed bucket to Axel before it gets to him, I'll take a handful of the all-in-one and give it to Gabby who needs this every day. It's an anti-inflammatory. Um, she's a former inventing horse who was overtrained and abused. And so what we do is she gets the Prevacox daily. Um, she and with some of our other horses also get an injection every month as an anti-inflammatory. So I will give this to her with some all-in-one and because she is like a child, like they all are. I'm going to watch and make sure she eats all her Prevacox and doesn't spit it out. Gabby's story is that she's a former eventing horse. Think of a triathlete. She has dressage one day, arena jumping one day, and cross country with jumping over obstacles another. Um, her story, as I understand it, is she was overtrained, injured, and the veterinarian for this animal um, took her away from the owner. And uh, you, there are also some signs of um, physical abuse on her hindquarters. So to force her to do things she knew she shouldn't do, they forced her to do it. And now she has this amazing life where she can work but not be overworked. And that English pleasure horse, the salient word really is pleasure. Yeah. So that noise she just made is called a knicker. I mean, she's excited about it. She knows there's feed. Hopefully she doesn't know there's that girl. And I'm going to watch to make sure she doesn't spit it out. Good girl, good girl. Now you're going to notice some conflict here because she's had a little bit of her all-in-one, but she's going to see some other horses get it. Here's midnight. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. This is Axel and this is who this whole feed bucket was meant to be for. And he has to learn manners just like a child. Go. 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 I don't want him in my face while I do this. <laughs> 